Hey guys, Mary Vlogmas. Uh, today, um, spoiler alert, I am pre-filming this for Vlogmas, but I am up at the church with my team here, uh, Connor and Aiden. Connor's like my number one fan. He watches all my vlogs. <laughs> and uh, my mama back there. So mama, and, yes, we are. Mama and I always decorate for all the seasons at the church, um, but Christmas, we need extra helpers. So here they are. Here's our reinforcements. But today is the day we have Christmas decorations. I'm not going to flip my camera yet. We have Christmas decorations everywhere. It's a pretty big church. So lots of decorations. We have two Christmas trees. We have tons of wreaths. We decorate inside and outside. So obviously it's not going to be filming every little bit. But I like it. It's fun to just see things go up and change and the seasons change and everything. So I'm going to show you really quick. I never showed you guys my or our fall decorations that we put up. Um, so I wanted to show you guys those real quick before we take them down because they're so cute and so pretty and colorful. Again, the changing of the seasons are just fun. So let me walk you through that super quickly and then we'll do some time lapse stuff of the changing of the seasons and what that looks like. So here we go. Okay, so here up on the stage, we got these super cute just arrangements. Everything we do, huh? Yes, around our baptistry. Everything we do, like, so, like, this base base arrangement was, like, on sale or something at Walmart, and then we added multiple things to it. So, we kind of revamp and redo everything, um, but we made all these arrangements here. Um, those were pre-done. But anyways, we made these, and then just kind of looking around the room. Let's try not to make you guys see sick. I know I'm good at that. Um, we've got our crosses that we just change our flowers on every season and then our cornucopias I guess not everything is pre-bought because we made all the cornucopias too and everything didn't we yep I guess just those ones up there um, we made the baskets there all of our window that one's, <laughs> that one's not very pretty she says how about this one? Yeah, that one oh yes that one's zhuzhed in the front so super pretty there um, and then these signs stay up all year. This is a Christmas, or a, not Christmas, fall sign. We got all of our windows. And then we have these little crosses back here that we just put little simple things on. And then I've got a roadblock, hang on. And then this is our back table. Um, we leave this set out all year long and just decorate it. For Thanksgiving, we kind of, or Thanksgiving fall, we make it look a little bit like a feast with the plates and the candles and the runner and everything. Um, but it'll have the nativity scene on it here shortly for Christmas, and it's in front of our sound booth there. And then our big wreath up here. This is not one we made, actually. It's been at the church for a long time. We have added and revamped. It's actually two wreaths that we've connected together to make the one, so we try and do our best with what we have, and then back around, and then this big cornucopia up here is super pretty as well. All right, that is it. You've seen what it was. Now, let's see what it's going to be. You guys ready? Team ready? We're ready. Let's get Can't see going. Aiden. <laughs> okay. Just like that we have everything taken down except our jumbo wreath because I have to get up on a ladder on the table pretty much to get that thing taken down and get the new one put back up so we're gonna do that in just a second because the boys are gonna start carrying the stuff for the nativity but I wanted to go ahead and just film really quick so we could do some more time-lapsing stuff but there we go falls down we got a nice blank slate and we are ready to go get some Christmas up in here <laughs>
right guys, it's been several hours now. Um, we've gotten multiple things done, but the tree is going up. We, last year, if I can find a picture of it, I'll insert a picture, or if you've watched last year's Vlogmas, you'll remember, we had this really pretty, like, tool coming down from the cross, and then we had the manger, I don't even know where the manger went, um, underneath and everything, and it looked so pretty, but we used that tool for my classroom, for my curtains, so we don't have the super long pieces that we had before. And we got a new tree this year, which is taller. So last year we had the tree that the boys decorated in the fellowship hall. We had it, oh, there's a big hole in the lights right there. <laughs> there's like two strands at the bottom and then, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even see it until I was looking through the camera. <clears throat> Anyways, I think there's two, I think it fell down. Yeah, there it is. Um, anyways, so the tree that the boys decorated in the fellowship hall is the one we used over here and we had it up on a riser. Things just aren't working out. Long story long, as always. Things just weren't working out to do the same thing as we did last year. So we just took the cross back out. We put a different angel on the tree instead of a star and we're just going back to a normal tree. So that's that. Just wanted to give a progress report. Um, we still have a lot to do, but we're trying to hurry and get through it. just checking back in um my phone is about to die so i've had it in my car charging but we've been working outside too so let me show you the outside of the church now the sanctuary doors we knew we were going to redo this year and honestly forgot until we like started to take stuff out and i just happened to have this garland left my car from my classroom decorating so we just did a very quick like put something different up because what was on there was just falling apart and everything so this is a temporary this year. It looks very nice. I'm not upset with it. My mom's not either. Um, and then we redid that one last year and redid that one last year. So anyways, here we go. This is, oh, look at the sky. Oh, beautiful view here. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So this is the coming up to the sanctuary doors. So we just have some little garland with some like sparkly garland bells and snowflakes and then these glittery balls and then these were also left over from my classroom decorating it is just little dollar tree balls we put into three clusters and then i also got that from the dollar tree last year <clears throat> last year and so we added it to this this year so pretty simple and cute and then from the sanctuary we have this wreath my sister actually did the bows and everything on this wreath last year for us. So there is that big old wreath. Church needs painted. We had 
um, someone volunteered to paint it and they bought the paint. They just haven't had a chance to paint it yet. And then here is the Fellowship Hall. So sorry, it's it is golden hour here and <laughs> the shadows are not in our favor at the moment. So, anyways, it is just red balls and pine cones and some silver snowflake garland. And then up to a red Merry Christmas up here. And that's it. That's all we're doing outside. That's all we ever do outside is just around both doors and the big wreath over here. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to leave my phone charging. We're going to start on the Fellowship Hall. Actually, let me show you a before, I guess, of the Fellowship Hall. Yeah, I'll show you before the Fellowship Hall. It's kind of a mess in here right now because we have decorations everywhere, but it's okay. You guys know me. You love me. You don't judge my messes. I know that. So here we are in the Fellowship Hall. So we're going to decorate on top of the kitchen counter cabinets, not counters. I can't get counters and cabinets straight when I'm talking about those kinds of things. Decorate on top of there and then around each window. And we have a couple of wreaths that get hung up. And then the Christmas tree that the boys, you saw the boys nice. decorate earlier. So, lovely. Did you see him put the star on there? Did you get him? I don't know if I did or not. I think I did. Okay. I think I did. But anyway, the boys did a fantastic job on this tree. So cute. We call it the kids tree. Yep, this is the kids tree. It's in the Awana room. If you guys know Awana, you got the Awana circle. This is our game room. Um, but anyways, this is where the kids come in and play. And, um, and so the kid always decorates it. Yep. So, so cute. But yep, this used to be the church this was the original sanctuary of the church and that was the stage up there and this was where the pews all were of course and then at one point there was stuff added on in the back and then in 2000 we added on the whole big sanctuary on the other side maybe one of these days we'll do some kind of church tour or something if you guys are interested in that um i love our little church it's just a little little country church but it's so cute but i'm going back to charge my phone in the car again and then, actually, I really wish I had a block so I could just charge it in there and do a time lapse of decorating the tops of those cabinets. So let me see if I can find a block, and that's what we will do. distracted me what is going on here all right guys we are done I don't know how long I'm I mean how much time I have my phone is down to 11% battery so um, it died while I, we were doing the decorations in the fellowship hall so I'm gonna walk you through everything really quickly and then uh, call it a night so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you our finished product all right so this is the foyer right when you come in we have a couple of little arrangements we have a wreath a swag, a little arrangement there, and then some arrangements over here. And then we'll lead you into the sanctuary where we are immediately greeted by some pretty trumpets on either side. And we will work our way up there. It is so beautiful. And then on this side, we've got trumpets and our window decor. And then a sign, more window decor, our cross, and our wreath, leading up to our beautiful tree that took a turn and we had to change our plans, but it turned out so elegant and beautiful. Straight up to this stage, which is 
a new arrangement here. These trees are normally at the back of the church. And so we put them up here, which looks gorgeous. We put our baby Jesus there with our altar poinsettias. And it is a cute little setup leading up to our baptistry decorations. Very pretty, I think, in my humble opinion. And then on around, we have another angel over here and a wreath. And then the same, very similar decorations along that wall. Back to our nativity scene, which I love so much. Topped off by an angel wreath up there. And then into the fellowship hall, we've got those wreaths up there on either side and then, still have a fall decoration on the fridge and then on the top I love it so much up there some antique toys some Christmas plates so pretty window door out to the fellowship hall foyer all right so this is the crew yes we are tired um connor didn't have to go home they were having their thanksgiving celebration today so anyways he was with us till two and it is now six o'clock like my mom said we'll be done by six and it was exactly six so we were like i was wheeling the vacuum cleaner back into the closet so anyways um I hope you enjoyed this decorate with us, it not just me. <laughs> we enjoyed it. I enjoyed we it. Love it. Um, I love our Christmas decorations at our church. We have, um, we're a little country church. We have zero budget for it. So we just make do with what we have. And I think, I think we do a pretty good job with what we have. Um, and I think it's very beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing our church and hanging out with us today. If you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you won't miss any more of Vlogmas. If you have missed any Vlogmas, this is your first video you're catching, go back and watch the full playlist. You're not going to want to miss out. It's going to be a fun month of December. So thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.